Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dreams channel. Today's tutorial is about making a beautiful pair of earrings called Karma earrings made using the newest Keops beads. So let's get started taking it to the material we need. First of all we need the famous Keops beads, they are shaped as a triangle and they are featured by two holes who go through the base to the two sides of the triangle. They are available in a few colors but more color will be available very soon. Then we need Miyuki seeds 11-0, a couple of golden ear studs and two rings. 11-0 Miyuki seed beads, nylon or Nemo thread and at last scissors and pliers. So let's start. The first thing is to build the base of the earring. To do that, we have to thread a 11-0 seed bead, then a 8-0, and followed by another 11-0 seed bead. Once I did it, insert a Keops bead, passing the two tips of the thread inside the base of the triangle, it means from the bottom to the top. Then others two upside down keops, one on each nylon tip. You can also check the pattern I put in the order to help you better understanding how I'm building it. Okay, this is the first half of the hexagon. Follow inserting other two upright keops, one on every nylon tip, and close the hexagon by inserting an upside down keops. And that's it. This is the first beautiful hexagon I got. Go on inserting another keops bead, passing both thread in it, and then other two upside down beads, on one on every thread tip. And once you got it, insert other two right way up beads on every tip and close the second hexagon inserting the last inverted bead passing both threads in it. It's now time to prepare the ring that I will use later to hook the ear stud. So here I insert six 11-0 seed beads one in one thread and then I cross the other thread in it in order to get it stuck and to get both tips ready to be used for building the last part of the earring. So bring down both threads inside the external keops I inserted before, building the ring and doing so we can make the last part of the earring body composed by some seed beads to embellish and two keops on each side. So here you can see where I want the thread going out from. Once you have both tips passed down, insert the two curves, the first right way up and the second inverted and close the hexagon passing the thread inside the external curves I have at the bottom. So as to embellish the earring, I'm going to use few seed beads in both sides. So here I return inserting an 11-0, then I 0, followed by another 11-0 seed bead. And I pass the tip 
through the more external Keops holes I left be free before. And once the thread go out, repeat the same steps where we just done. So insert three beads in the same order and pass up the thread through the Keops holes and use the thread who left in order to tense all the structure of the earring return passing it through the central Keops holes. You can pass it few times inside the same holes because it's one millimeter thick, so there's no problem. This is exactly the mirror of what we have to do now in the other side. So step by step do the same to complete the earring body. I think that thanks to the pattern I put at the top it's easier to understand what I'm explaining. So it's why I say that the expression is easier said than done doesn't count my channel. Ok, finished. I joined both tips together and I make a knot to close the earring and I cut away the thread who left. It's now time to put the ear stud and by a round nose plier I shape a couple of earring of 5mm using a golden eye pin. If you have any already done open rings you don't have to do this but I want to show it to you because I'm sure that it can be useful. Ok, open the ring, hook it to the ear stud and pass it through the seed beads ring I left before and done. Here you are my charming, beautiful, wonderful, lovely couple of earrings and here in white color. Ok guys, I hope you appreciate it and I encourage all of you to try doing a couple for you. Please remember that all the materials I used are available on my website www.crystaldreams.s and subscribe to my channel so as to be updated by all our tutorials. See you next time, happy beading, bye bye.